Welcome back. Eric, you may be working until midnight New Year's Eve, right? Uh, not till midnight, but we'll go with it just for the hypothetical. Okay. Sure. All right. <laughs> Midnight-ish. Yeah. Well, for many of us, we have the day off or the next day off, mm -hmm. so that means... More importantly, that next day off. We want to celebrate in style, so we're making a sparkling pineapple punch mocktail. So that means the kiddos can even drink this. There's no alcohol, but if you want to add some... That's okay too. So here's what you'll need. You'll need some pineapple juice, lemon lime soda like 7-Up, or you could even do ginger ale. Frozen pineapple chunks, frozen strawberry chunks, and fresh mint leaves. So not a whole lot you need. So you want to grab your punch bowl, and in your punch bowl you're going to pour one small bag of frozen pineapples. We got them over here. I'll let you go ahead and start dumping oh. those pineapples in. So the reason you were asked to use frozen instead of fresh is because they act like ice cubes. And as they thaw out, they're going to keep that drink even cooler and also provide a little bit of a treat <clears throat> um, as they begin to thaw throughout the evening. So now that we got our pineapple in, let's go ahead and pour our strawberries in. I'll go let you do that since you did the pineapple so well. <laughs> I mean, I just <laughs> dropped it. That sound. There you go. Boom. In it goes. You need your own, like, bam, like emerald. Kabuya. <laughs> Kabuya. So now we're going to add some uh, three cups of pineapple juice. Uh, you can use can. Uh, we picked up a bottle here. Shake it around for good measure. I feel more important if I do it that way. All right. Here's cup number one. I'll go let go ahead and let you do no that. No way. You I got to, <laughs> yeah, you got that. You can. All right. So cup number one, and I'm spilling. That's exactly why I didn't and do it. And this is why we should do it over the bowl. Here's cup number two. Here it goes. Cup number three. Why don't you go ahead and give that a stir for good measure? Well, I trust just, you with this. Are I just want to make sure I get the, the, the volume in there of different things just <coughs> matriculating together. Stir that on up. Good hearty stir. So now it's your choice, your personal preference. If you think the, the fruit <laughs> and juice is going to be sweet enough, you can go ahead and use ginger ale. 7-Up tends to be a little bit sweeter for me. I think that this fruit concoction is already going to be sweet enough, so I'm going to use the ginger ale, but either one is fine. So let's go ahead. Let's see if we can get it to fizz. Ready? That frozen Hear concoction that? that helps me hang out. <laughs> hang out. <laughs> You're going to take one bottle and just dump it, it in. Waste it away again in Margaritaville. Again, mocktail. <laughs> but you could add um, maybe some rum in here, maybe some vodka. But again, this is a mocktail, keeping it PG for all those kid out, kiddos out there who will hopefully make it to midnight. Now, my niece, she's six years old. She still hasn't made it to midnight just yet. What's so the maybe first this year? calendar transition you can remember very vividly in your mind, like staying up for and remembering? I don't know. Probably about six, seven years old, something okay. like that. What about you? I can distinctly remember uh, 1999 into 2000. 1999? But I mean, I, since that was such a big like turn of the you know calendar, that's mm -hmm. probably why I remember it more than anything else. All right, we about got to be quick here. Oh, hello. So now we're going to add some mint. We're putting grass in there? I actually grow mint in my apartment, so this would be the perfect cocktail. So in a perfect world, we'd have a muddler, and we'd um, kind of mash it up. Ooh. Because you actually have to pinch, pinch the herb to release um, the taste of the herb. So we have some big chunks in there. Oh, you going to do some even bigger chunks? Maybe. <laughs> so as Eric's doing that, it's I'm going to try and get us uh, two glasses here so we can give it a sip. Um, this is a pretty... Um, <clears throat> if Dejanique was here, she'd be saying that this is, this, this is for the... Uh, the presentation. You got to put the mints in there for the for the presentation. See, I think the mint's going to give it a nice flavor, and this is you know a perfect drink you can make with a kiddo at home because the recipe isn't overly taxing. So um, if you've got a you know a six seven year old at home, this is a simple recipe they can have some fun with. And if you're making this for the grown ups, you can uh, take your favorite you know liqueur and put it on in. So here, Eric, you're going to cheers me on this. Sniff first. Here is to a happy and healthy start of 2019. Guys, remember. Huzzah! You <laughs> Let's get a sip. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's refreshing. Now, if you make this drink, make sure you hashtag it, the B on 12. We want to see if you use this at your holiday party. How is it? Ooh, it's so good. <laughs> going to top that. So still ahead. You don't ever have to work a day in your life if you're dating Nick Cannon. Why his comments about being a breadwinner is, is sparking some backlash. It is good.